Hello, hello. Today we are going to be looking into the case of Ellen Greenberg. Three people yesterday suggested this case, like, at the same time, but on different videos. It was like, Ellen, 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 but different videos. So it's not like they saw one another's comments. So I took that as Ellen's at the door, like, hello, let me in. So let's see what she has to tell us. Um, this is an unsolved case from Philadelphia, which is my home area. I don't live there now, but it's where I'm originally from. Um, <clears throat> Ellen was an only child born in New York. <sighs> okay, so to break it down really simply, if you're not aware of this case, this woman was found in her apartment by her fiance, Sam. He had gone to the gym, supposedly, downstairs in their apartment building, came back up, door was locked, knocking on the door, sending some text messages, let me in, you, you better have a good excuse, okay? So anyway, apparently he breaks in and finds her dead. Um, the stab wounds on this woman were, I think it was like over 20 and like in her back. And like places that if I stab myself once in the back in the back I I'm not gonna have the energy to do that 19 more times like I, I just I it doesn't make sense um I've been thinking about this case non-stop since last night and the first opportunity I got to stop and do it I did so um the police are going with this theory that this woman somehow based off of the evidence that they have they haven't said it this way, but essentially the police's theory is that this woman stabbed herself in a fit of rage, resurrected herself, and then stabbed herself some more because some of her wounds were post-mortem, which means after she was passed away because there was no hemorrhaging. So apparently Ellen has figured out the, the secret to everything because I've never heard of anyone else doing that. So let's figure out what happened here. The parents are still searching for answers. I believe the case was reopened. Um, I watched, of course, 10 to Life's video on it. So that's the information that I'm going with right now. Um, okay, so when this happened, there was a blizzard. It was in January of 2011. There was a blizzard to, that hit Philadelphia prompting Ellen to leave work and return to her. Oh, Maniunk, wow. I used to live in Maniunk. Wow. Before I moved to the state that I'm in now, which is New Jersey, I lived in Maniunk with a friend, so, okay. Anyway, um, Sam, her fiance, was a Gladwin-based television producer for NBC and, golf, and later golf.com. Okay, so we have some connections. 20 stab wounds, including 10 to her back and neck. It just doesn't add up. Anyway. Um, there were also 11 bruises in various stages of resolution. It was originally ruled as a suicide. I don't know if it's still a suicide. I know that it, it got like switched at some point. Let's see what happened. Okay, so... I want, I'm gonna pull two rows of four and I wanna see what happened from the time that Ellen got home. That's the first card. And then the last card I want to be when Sam walked out the door to go to the gym. King of Cups reverse is the first card that came out. Why am I not at all surprised? So that would be about emotional manipulation from her partner, the lovers in reverse. So he was emotionally, emotionally manipulative and there was a problem in the relationship. The world in reverse. Someone refusing to close out a cycle. So emotional manipulation problem in the relationship, somebody not, not putting past lessons into use, and also not wanting to let go.
Three of Cups Reverse Independence. So we have one not wanting to let go and one wanting independence. Hold on, because the card went all the way over there. Get it. King of Swords Reversed. So that's the end of the first row. So the first row we have emotional manipulation, very selfish energy, something wrong with the relationship, some kind of problem. One person wants to let go or one person doesn't want to let go. One person wants space. Um, then we have the King of Swords to end that row. And that is an abuse of power, overpowering someone. Being very cold, very like extreme selfishness, extreme selfishness that is dangerous. Chariot in reverse. So before he leaves, he's going to leave to the gym, but before he leaves, Chariot in reverse is also being very aggressive. Four of swords reversed, being ready to act. Nine of Cups, getting what I wanted. And ironically enough, getting what I wanted card is right underneath of the person who doesn't want to let go. I don't want to let go. I got what I wanted. The Emperor in reverse. Domineering energy, losing control, overpowering someone. I see a verbal altercation that turned physical because we have the King of Swords in the top row, which would be an abuse of the power that he held over her. So that would be the verbal confrontation. And instead of leaving, it turned physical. He was going to leave. He was going to leave, but then they had that conversation. He did not leave. He got ready to act because he was over it. He was exhausted. He got what he wanted, even though he totally lost control. He was not willing to listen to the other person, Ellen's point of view. It was one of those, either you're going to agree with me or you're wrong. Those type, that type of situation. Temperance in reverse, excess. This woman was stabbed excessively and we just got excess with a angel on the card underneath of this card which i said was power dynamic him using verbal assault on her verbal assault didn't get him what he wanted but the physical one did physical one did okay all right so go i'm gonna go over this again so we have actually the entire top row is all in reverse so everything was messed up. Everything was upside down. Her coming home to the apartment that day, it's almost like she saw the opportunity to bring up something that she had been avoiding saying. Um, like she maybe was looking for the right time to bring it up, maybe looking for the right way to approach him or something. She got sent home for the blizzard, <clears throat> excuse me, sent home for the blizzard that day. I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe this is like a sign. Maybe now's a good time to do that. There's no way that she could have known that it wasn't. But I do see that something that was brewing under the surface was brought up that day. Um, and he tried to emo emotionally manipulate her. Again, it's either you see it from my point of view or you're wrong. There's no, there's no your point of view. It's my point of view or wrong. And this had something to do with the relationship not being the way that it was in the beginning or not being the way that it should be. It, it didn't feel safe. It didn't feel comfortable. It felt either very stagnant, which I don't think it would be stagnant because they had just sent out wedding invitations. So that would imply moving forward. So if it's not stagnant, then it's just 
not happy. Um, it's draining. And then we have the world reversed next to the three of cups reversed. So this is like, look, it's even the snake wrapped around the egg. This is, I'm not letting you go. You don't have that option. You're not walking away from me. And this is Ellen saying, I need some space. I need a little bit. She did, um, I think, text her father shortly before this happened, like maybe a week. I don't remember the exact time frame. Um, maybe a month. I don't know. But about possibly wanting to move home. That would be this. That would be her bringing that up to Sam saying, hey, I think I might want to move home. And Sam saying, nope, I'm not letting you go. And then we have the King of Swords, which this would be the words. It, it didn't just escalate right to physical, at least not this time. It was an aggressive argument that it's almost like he gave her the opportunity to change her mind and see it from his way. And she was like, no, not, not this time. Like I, I need to, I need to put my foot down here. And then we move to the second row. Um, so the chariot in reverse makes me feel like not only did he not go like, so this would be like if he was going to the gym or something and she was like, Hey, before you go, can we talk or something like that? Like sold the opportunity and took it. Um, this would be like if they had a, vo a verbal altercation and he was like, okay, you know what, whatever, I'm going to go to the gym. Gets ready. And then instead of walking out the door, or maybe he does walk out the door and walks back in, but it, it's like he tricked her. Um, like he said he was leaving or she thought he had left. And that, yeah, it's no, it's not. It, he didn't leave. It's she thought he, he was getting ready to leave. He had said, okay, I'm going to go to gym. They had a verbal altercation. He may have said something like, okay, I'm going to go cool down, work out my anger, something like that. Give you time to think about it. Um, goes in the room, gets his shoes on and stuff, heads for the door. She sees this. And then he turns around and attacks. Like it, it's like that. It's like, there's trickery there. It, it wasn't like a, um, it wasn't like an altercation that occurred, f like, how do I put this? It didn't occur in the moment with the altercation. Like it, it, she wasn't expecting it, but he wasn't gone yet. Like it feels like he walks towards the door, like with the knife in his hand though. Like either that or he just kind of aggressively walked toward the kitchen and grabbed it but it's almost like he's at the door and then goes over to her like he's getting ready for the gym goes over to the door goes back to her and attacks I almost feel like he doesn't have the knife I feel like he's walking towards the door oh Eight of Wands, oh my gosh. I was just thinking, I wonder if it's ha like, like he said bye and she didn't say bye in the way that he wanted to. This is about fast communication. So he's at the door, he says bye to her. He doesn't get the response that he wanted because he was being a jerk. Um, and he, he, he walks over and he grabs the knife and he just goes off. Because he was already triggered from the verbal argument. He had like talked himself down from doing something physical. Almost like in his mind he was like, oh well, I, I believe that he was abusive towards her. I'm going to just say that right now. Um, it it's almost like in his mind he was like trying to talk himself out of being physical. Like, oh, maybe maybe I shouldn't be physical right now because then she'll really want to leave. It, like that kind of thing. Tries to leave, goes to say bye, doesn't get like a lovey-dovey bye, obviously, because why would she? Um, this is like he walks over and grabs the knife and just fit of rage. Um, which is where we would see ready to act. Um also like 
like giving himself a moment to recover, like walking in the bedroom, putting on his shoes, saying, okay, I'm going to go to the gym. And, and then he doesn't. Um, this would be about him losing control. And then this would be about the excess in the way that he attacked her. Um, completely over the top. Just so obviously not a suicide. I, I, I just, I don't know. Um, okay. So now that we know what happened, let's look into how in the world or why is there a connection between someone? Why, why the investigation? Why, why did this happen? Why is it ruled a suicide? Why can no one see the glaringly obvious homicide? Judgment. The tower reversed. The tower reversed is like a moment that has already passed. Like, oh, too late now. The hermit in reverse. there's that's wild it's like one person made a little mistake or waited too long to do something and then was like oh, okay I just brush it off and then that created a snowball effect where everything else just had to fall in line with that to cover up for that one person's mistake um I also Allegedly, my opinion, I, I, I believe that they know that this is not a suicide. But again, it's that, it, it's like person one drops a ball, right? Little ball, marble, drops a marble, picks it up, waits a little bit too long to pass the marble to person two. So now person two has a marble that's been dropped, so it might be a little bit imperfect, and now it's delayed in getting to that person. It's like, Whatever it is that the ball was dropped, it just kept getting dropped a little more, a little more, and then it got to the point where it's like, oh, well, it's too late to go back now. We have to stick to this story. And then the, the, the more time that passed, it's like, well, we really can't, we really can't go back now because then it will show that we've been covering up for something that we knew was untrue. Um... Does the boyfriend have a connection to someone? The devil in reverse. Eight of cups, queen of wands reversed. There's something in the shadows, but I don't necessarily think it's a person. There's something that he used to his advantage. I don't know what it is, though. It's almost like in, in the initial investigation when he was questioned, he did something very strategic and smart that made them not look at him. And that's what it is that that ball was dropped. It was like, oh, well, didn't, didn't do it on time. This would be like, um, let's say they have one interview with a person and they think, okay, not involved, has to be something else. Then they have another, then they find more evidence, right? And then they have another interview with the person and they're like, uh, kind of fishy. But then they say to the public like, oh, no, he's cleared. It's not that, it's this. And then in the next interview, this would be like if they were like, oh, crap, I think he might be involved. But we already said that to the public, so we can't go. Like, that's what it is. But it, it's almost like it stemmed from someone not wanting to get something wrong. And then everybody else just, like, turned a blind eye to something that was so glaringly obvious. Um, so I don't necessarily think it's the the fiance that has someone like 
protecting him. I think it's that the people who investigated this are protecting the person who initially made a mistake. And everyone after had to just fall in line with that mistake. Yeah. Um, is there... Mm, is there anything the parents can do to help bring justice to Ellen? Magician. Four of Wands reversed. Hmm. That would be a yes. Five of Cups reversed and Ten of Cups. Okay. Um... It does seem like there's something that can be done, but it's going to require ruffling some feathers, which I don't think is anything that they mind doing. I think they'll ruffle any feathers they need to. But I would say that this is like a different, a different way. Like, but the Ten of Cups on one side and the Magician on the other makes me feel like there is a way to get justice for her here. And honestly, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like Ellen views it as um not that she doesn't want justice for herself but it's more justice for her like for herself on her family's behalf like she wants justice so that her family can heal that doesn't mean that she doesn't want justice for herself but it means that if she had to pick one reason why do you want justice it would be so that her family could heal um especially the ten of cups here so, four of wands, five of cups, both reversed. The five of cups reversed is about finding that peace. It's about getting that closure. Um, the four of wands reversed makes me feel like it's something with the home. Like, it's towards the home environment. So it's like turning the home upside down, which I know now it's been a very long time. Turning the home upside down. Turning, okay, turning the home upside down would allow her family to find some kind of closure. But how would that ruffle feathers? Turning the home upside down, some kind of closure. Phone call. Unplanned pregnancy, but she wasn't pregnant. Phone call, unplanned pregnancy. Stuck in relationship. And angry. I wonder if he told somebody something. Did he, I wonder if he had a male friend who had a wife that was pregnant around that time or even a female friend that was pregnant. It's almost like he It's crazy because I said that he went in the room to put his shoes on and stuff and cool down for a minute. And that literally depicts that picture. Nine of swords reversed. And strength. Getting some kind of help to... Some kind of mental... I wonder if he had a therapist. I know that she was going to therapy. I'd be curious if he was going to therapy or if he was like venting to someone. It 
It's like he said so he said something to someone that wasn't it's almost like he said something to someone that like that piece of information would corroborate like um like maybe a wound or something like I don't know. There's a he said a bit of what happened even if it wasn't on purpose to someone oh ruffling feathers that person would have to ruffle feathers somebody knows something what can i know about if anybody knows anything ten of swords Somebody knows something. He, he called someone when he was angry. Did he? Nine of Pentacles reversed, two of Swords reversed, Justice reversed. Yes, justice reversed would be, this is a woman on this card. I wonder if it is a woman. See, if, if he was friends with any pregnant women around that time, like close friends, um, or had a close friend that had a, a wife or girlfriend that was pregnant, I would try and put a little pressure on that person because I think they know something. Um, like it could be that they know something from him that he shouldn't have known. Like if he says, oh, she had a stab wound that, just for an example, she had a stab wound that looked like an X, right? But like if that was something that was never released, like I, it wouldn't be that exactly, but it would be something like that. Like he divulged something to someone that he shouldn't have known unless he did it. And if that person could come forward with that information, it would prove that he knows something that he shouldn't about the death. But the ruffling of feathers makes me think that that person isn't going to just voluntarily come forward. But I do feel as though if that person did come forward, justice could be served and it could bring a conclusion to this case. Like a real one instead of just... She stabbed herself, rose from the dead, and continued stabbing herself because that just doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, um, if you have questions about this case, let me know and I will look into it more. But that's, let's do one more pool. Um, three cards from Ellen about what I've said. Six of Cups. The Empress reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. Um, in the beginning of their relationship, he helped to heal her inner child. He helped, not that there was necessarily something wrong, but he brought healing and like comfort to her inner child. And then when the relationship changed, he stopped doing that. So she had that inner child wound that was making her feel very sad, very low. And the reason that she was dealing with anxiety and all that, I believe my opinion, is because she had someone, she had a wound to inner child um, or inner child wounds. And it's not from her parents though. It's like from other people, like outside people wounded her. Um, feeling like mean girl energy to her, like mean girl to her. But I think she hid it very well. Anyway, um, so this would be like, she has a very wounded inner child from that. And then he comes along, love bombs her, heals that inner child. And then things go wrong and he knows exactly how to hit her where it hurts because he goes right for that inner child wound. 
that's how he gets the power and control of the narcissist. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. And then we have this card that translates or turns into the Empress reversed. So it, it's like when her inner child wound was not being deliberately attacked, she was able to be in her power. But he knew how to hit her where it hurts, right in that inner child wound, right in those specific insecurities. And that took her away from her power. That took her into a place where she wasn't sure if she was making the right decision. She wasn't sure if she was overreacting. She wasn't sure if she was unsafe or if she was just, you know, she, she was doubting herself so much because of that inner child wound being deliberately triggered by him. Um, and then we have the three of pentacles in reverse, which is them not working together as a team. So the healing of the inner child wound turned into a deliberate sabotage, sab oh, blah, blah. A deliberate sabotaging of her inner child wound and inconsolable differences after that but again she she wasn't realizing this part of her was but there was still part of her that was questioning herself because it was coming from that inner child wound instead of it's like her inner child grew into an adult how do i put this her inner child grew into an adult. This was an adult with an inner child wound, okay? So then that adult with an inner child wound had their inner child wound healed, okay? Um, so then this would be like if all of this was on a spring and all of a sudden she got pulled all the way back to here on purpose because he knew how to directly hit her in that inner child wound where it hurt emotionally as Honestly, as well as physically, I see him being abusive. Um, but I see him playing on that inner child wound, knowing that he could get her feeling dependent on him because he, again, I don't know how else to say it. He knew how to get, he knew how to specifically get to her to control her emotions and make her question herself. Which would make sense if it's that mean girl energy because let's say in high school or something, if the, she was on the receiving end of some mean girl behavior, that would make her question herself. Oh, do I fit in here? You know, do I, whatever. That's the same energy that he was igniting in her, making her be like, oh, is it me? Is it me? Until she came to realize this and said, no, I got to make some kind of change. I don't think she said she was going to leave him, honestly. I feel like it's more of, I, I need a break. How her dad said that she asked or had mentioned possibly moving back home. I feel like that's what was brought up. Um, and he just snapped. Yeah. I'm going to pull, I pulled three of them. So let me just pull three more of these from Ellen. Womanizer in reverse, stalking in reverse, affair, womanizer, stalking, womanizer and stalking both in reverse just make me feel like he had eyes on her, he was intimidating her being all up in her business pretty much, the affair card is confusing me. Because I wasn't picking up on that. So hold on. Knight of Cups. Three of Wands. Oh. Going to therapy made her realize that she wanted better for herself. And she was starting to enact that plan. Something about her going to therapy had gotten her to recognize I'm settling for something that's never going to make me fulfilled. I'm not blaming therapy. I'm just telling you what I see. Yeah. Because the Knight of Cups is like, um, like a middleman or a mediator. So, yeah. It, it makes me feel like her getting her mental health care through therapy, her talking about things that she didn't otherwise have an outlet to talk about with him, 
was making her realize, okay, I'm saying this out loud. And I don't, I don't think that she was talking about her like problems though. Like it, this seems like something she wasn't almost like talking in code, but like only she knew about the code, if that makes sense. Like she, like she was expressing the surrounding factors of what was making her stressed out without directly saying, okay, this is from him, but it was. Um, but he had made her feel like either she was overreacting or that she shouldn't talk about it. Um, it does really feel like a DB situation, um, but a very highly concealed one. Um, but essentially I do feel as though her going to therapy, her saying things out loud, hearing herself say certain things was making her go home after and realize, oh, maybe this is why I'm so stressed out. Maybe this environment is not good for me. Maybe I need to make some kind of change. And I see this affair card, I'm not seeing it as an affair. I am seeing it as her realizing I could, I could settle and knowingly sign up to be unhappy or I could put myself in a different direction. And I feel like she was trying to figure out what that different direction was and needed a little bit of time to herself to figure that out and he was not willing to give that to her. Allegedly my opinion. Yeah. Talk to you soon.